Hello, welcome to this quick overview video of VMware Cloud Director Availability 4.7. This release is packed with several new features that give more flexibility to tenants and facilitate the cloud provider's operations. First, we are happy to introduce that there is a new replication placement mechanism to replace the independent disks used in previous releases. It is based on the replication tracking VM that was made available in VMware Cloud Director 10.5. This will not affect any existing replications which can be converted to the new mechanism through the UI. Because of this new placement option, there is much more flexibility when it comes to storage policies. First, no matter if you replicate to a Cloud Director Cloud or vSphere Cloud, it is now possible to select different storage policies per each VM disk. For the vSphere Cloud, you can also select the data store. In addition to that, it is now possible to replicate a workload using one storage policy and choose a different one when performing failover or migration. There is also an enhancement to the recovery plans, a validation that prevents plant from failing because any of its replications misses recovery settings or the migration sources offline. It is performed automatically for any DR or migration plan. VMware Cloud Director Availability 4.7 also brings several improvements to VMware Cloud Director Clouds. One of them is the transfer of the security tags assigned to a replicated VM when initiating a migration or failover between two Cloud Director Clouds. Another new thing is that if a VM at the source has a sizing policy assigned and there is a sizing policy with exactly the same name at the destination, it will be automatically selected in the replication configuration wizard. Also, cloud providers can now hide certain paired cloud sites that are not relevant to their tenants, which can be defined per organization. There is also a new option in the replication policies where cloud providers can disallow protecting workloads from cloud to the on-premises. The last new thing is around vSphere DR and migration, where it is now possible to use a seed VM to save time and bandwidth during the initial sync phase. To understand more about the new features, please check out our blog where we have explained them in detail. Thanks for watching!